This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 30 minutes into the trading day, and we got markets in positive territory clawing back some of the losses of yesterday. Got the S&Ps right now up by 38 points. That's almost 1%, trading at a price point of 4,008. As I mentioned in my program, you're kind of right at that 382 of the sell-off we had yesterday. If you're looking for the 618 area on the S&Ps, you're talking about about 4,032. NASDAQ 100, you're charging higher, man. NASDAQ 100, you're approaching the 618 of the entire give back yesterday. You're within only about 20 points in the NASDAQ 100 of that 618. NASDAQ 100, man, NASDAQ been strong, strong like bull, uh, as it had, I believe, entered a 20% bull market coming into the action of yesterday. Did you know that growth stocks were in a bull market yesterday, folks? All we needed was a banking crisis to get this market going. Pretty remarkable. Dow up 206. You got the Russell up by 20 this morning. We jump over to crude above $71, $71.16. We jump over to gold, gold catching a bid. Up uh, $36 on the session. Now, a lot of that happening yesterday afternoon, but you just got above any of the highs that we had overnight as well as you're up at $1,985.90 for the price of the gold contract. Notes and bonds. Some marginal action after the moves yesterday. You get the 10-year right now up about eight ticks. You have the 30-year actually negative by three ticks right now. And boy, the VIX, right? You're on a path to negative volatility in this market, even when we get some moves. As the S&Ps are up by 40, you got the VIX. Just back to where we were yesterday morning, 2062. Just forget about that 100-point sell-off in the S&Ps, folks. Don't even worry about it. Uh, we check out some of the stocks that are moving today. Block, Square, turns out they might be facilitating criminal behavior on their application for sending and receiving money down 19% following a Hindenburg report. Uh, now, they're a big short seller. They're the ones that just came after Adani. Asia's wealthiest man. Uh, now they're coming back uh, after Jack Dorsey. But yeah, pay attention, man, down 19%. And yeah, the banks this morning catching a bit. JP Morgan up 1.2%. Bank of America right now up 8 tenths percent. And Darden Restaurants, some strong numbers, but they give it back off 1.4%. I think the number was same store sales at Darden Restaurants across all brands up something like 11%. Guess what, folks? Inflation, right? Inflation doesn't mean they're doing more business. They're just charging more for the same product, probably. Nonetheless, they trade lower on some decent numbers for Darden. Stay tuned, folks. Basil did his show at 8 o'clock this morning. He's coming up right now. We got our man Steve Rhodes after that. 